Good morning, I'm Pastor Steve Hom of Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Rockford, Michigan. This is your cause cast for Thursday, October 29th. As we continue to look at the wonderful Psalm of Comfort, Psalm 23. On Tuesday, I mentioned that this psalm really does, can be divided into three sections. In the first section, speaking of the way the Good Shepherd provides so well for his people, takes care of us and gives us uh, a wonderful place of peace and quiet rest. The second section of the psalm continues the picture of a Good Shepherd, but thinks about the way that the Shepherd protects his sheep. Verse 4 reads, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Even though I walk in the darkest place, through uh, the darkest shadows, I know the Good Shepherd will protect me, take care of me. The psalmist speaks of the familiar tool of the shepherd, the shepherd's staff, the staff that would be used to uh, both guide the sheep along their way, but also protect them. If they're heading off into a dangerous path, he'd pull them back. Or if there was some type of predator that was uh, attacking the sheep, he could use the staff to fend off that predator. The Lord protects us, sends his holy angels to be with us every day. Take, keeps us safe, uh, guides us along the path of life. The final section of Psalm 23 speaks of that the picture kind of changes from a shepherd to a king and his royal court. And this makes sense. Uh, in the Old Testament times, a king was often called a shepherd. We think of Jesus as both our shepherd and our king. And when you think of the king and his royal court, it was both a great privilege to be in the king's court. It was also a wonderful joy. They had a fun time. That's the picture, that's the image that is used in this last part of the psalm, the, the feast of the royal court. So, verse 5 and 6. You set a table before me in the presence of my foes. You drench my head with oil. My cup is overflowing. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You set a table before me, you drench my head with oil. The picture here is of a party. Uh, the reason this translation uses the word drench instead of anoint my head with oil is that the Hebrew term here is not talking about a ceremony of anointing a king or anointing someone for special service, but rather the, the drenching someone with oil, which was a custom that was a sign of uh, joy and, and and luxury and so we think of the wonderful heavenly banquet that has been prepared for us and the way that we look forward to feasting in the Lord's presence into all eternity as the psalmist writes I will live in the house of the Lord forever what a privilege to be a part of this king's court and what a joy to be invited to his royal banquet Psalm 23, so much comfort, so much joy as we think of our shepherd king who takes care of us, provides for us, protects us, and in whose court and in whose presence we will live forever. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we are so thankful to know you as our good shepherd. Help us to take comfort in this knowledge, to enjoy living in your presence and to look forward to an eternity of joy at your side. Amen. God be with you today.